Yo, what's cracker lacking, people? You done know RL Scorsese. I'm a gamer. What? I'm a gamer. What? Get me part two, level three. Let's do this, bro. Let's do this. Let me just deal with these little punks. Get rid of these guys. Like you're flinging your phone at man. Now it, man. Give man two Bruce Lee, you get me? Well, Bruce Lee don't have a sword, but you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, as you can see, there's a Yoki realm down there. I don't know what's going to be waiting for me, but I will soon get down there still. I can hear them bats again. They're probably up there in the corner still. Yep, there they are. Not catching me slipping. What's man giving me now? Some salt. Okay. Some salt. Safe. Just so you're aware, guys, but you'll, you'll get loads of flipping um, items in this game. I would say experiment with all of them. Because there are some stuff on there that is very, very handy. I mean, there's loads of items that I don't necessarily use. So I'm not saying you need to use everything. But experiment to see what works for you and whatnot. You know what I mean? Some of the items I don't even bother to use. I'm sure they're probably decent, but I can't be asked if I'm completely honest with you. Like, some of them, like, yeah, I'm not interested. Well, I don't think there's anyone else around, but even if there was, he's awoken from his slumber. Right, so I've got a nice big open area here, so I don't need to attack him face on. When he swings, I can just get around him. Give him free job in his bundle. And come with the big backhand again, you know. Just like that boss earlier. So some similarities between the boss before and this guy in the sense of just the backhand again after he does his, his little combo just run in get behind him or you can take him face on when he's got his head down after he's done a combo because they're big they're slow but they do hit hard don't ever get it twisted if these guys hit you but more correctly you will yam like half your life with one hit Like, quickest way to get rid of these guys though is by chopping off their horns. So, if you do go face on, try to chop off their horns. Um, heavy stance is good for that. I think with heavy stance, it's three hits and you'll chop off their horns, you'll remove their, their key and put them in a vulnerable state. But it can be risky at times though. Alright, okay, so that's two gestures. Oh! Okay, so I was allowed to make a third gesture. I thought you only got two shots. Hey, I'm not complaining. So that's two out of two. Let's see what my man's got for man. Get some health. Get an elixir. Yeah, that's elixir. Some dual swords. Like, it's safe for that big man. Got my water amulet. Okay, there's another yokai realm death off. Run down. No what? We switch it up. You can hit them bats again, man. I wonder where they're lurking. I know there's something down here. See? I knew it. Okay, so. Oh, it's these guys. These guys get dealt with, man. No long thing. So as you can see just there, I forgot the key pulse and I had to back it up. But the key pulse, I could have continued my combo and I could have dead this man. It's been quite lucky so far actually that I haven't died because I haven't been key pulsing. Ooh. Interesting. You know what? I think that's, I think I know how to get there still. If I remember correctly.
run all the way up here. Back to where the that box was where the bats tried to knock me off. Yep, and there's a guy there. Right, let's jump down. Anyone else down there for me to kill? Yep, someone just woken up. Ah, oh, a guy with a spear, okay. That takes you out. Some high stars, all the See, ah, see, that time I got caught out because I weren't key posted. Let's switch it back to the single sword still. Get my loot. Right. What was that? Ah, there's a Kodama. I didn't even see that there, boy. I just turned around. Because I thought there was something behind me. Man, see the Kodama. Hard. Got some Rosewood Tonfers. Basic, standard level. You know what? I'm going to take them over. Probably, probably sell them. I'm not going to dismantle them. I ain't got nothing that I really need to be honest with you. Right, so guys like this here, see? I knew there was a setup. I knew there was probably somebody lurking. So let's kill him. So he doesn't get in the way of my fight when I'm fighting that dude. He's gonna appear from out of death lock. I don't know what it's gonna be or who it's gonna be. It could be the big dude with the horns, or it could be the dude with the um with the axe, the skeleton dude with the axe. And it's the skeleton dude with the axe. See so the skeleton dude with the axe, I think they're a bit easier to kill than um the guys with the horns. But in saying that, they do have a better range. But Oh, why did I try and fight man through the fence like some fool? Yeah, they do have a better range. So I guess they do have a range advantage. And they are swinging like crazy, so it's easy to read their pattern of combo. You know what? They're both as easy to kill as one another, man. Like, patience. That's all it is, fam. Patience. I'm gonna drop out of this side still. Go get my loot and my items from the dude that I bodied. Uh. And yeah, guys, as I said earlier, you will pick up loads of stuff. And you will be thinking, like, raw, like, picking up loads of stuff and you don't know what to do with it. Don't worry about it. Pick it up. If you don't want it, sell it. Dismantle it. Give it as a blessing and get something back in return for it. But just make sure you're just picking up everything. Because the drop rates on this game is peak, fam. You're never, ever going to run out of items to pick up, believe me. Like, usually I don't like fighting guys on ledges like this, but because he's a lower ranked enemy, I know it's safe. So, when I'm, if I was fighting one of them big um, yokai demon things, like that, for an example, should I go down there? Should I fight him? Um, yeah, let's let's slip man in the back of the head actually. Get his attention. Right, the reason why I'm running back here because I wanted to fight me at the top there. I don't want to fight him on the ledge, like I was saying earlier. Because he's one of the big demon yokai things. It's going to be harder to kill. And I'm not about falling off the edge. Nah, cuz. Man's not going to get body because of my stupidity when I can lure him out. Come, man. Follow me, man. Is he going to follow me all the way up to the top? Nope. Oh. Alright, let's lick him again. Don't matter where I hit him. Just trying to get his attention to come up here, man. Come, the man. Still not coming. Alright, I've downed him now. I'm just gonna him. Right. Again, there's no way I'm going down here and fighting him in that tight little corner. Man's got the range advantage of me. 
I know it's going to be difficult to get around him. So I just head top him. As you can see, that took out half his life anyway. I'll finish him off with an arrow still. Put the arrow in his head and then jump off and kill him. There we go. No long thing. What's, he, what's, what's that giving me? Some purple boots, yeah? Oh, I've got this ball. What's that? Young blood armor boots, yeah? Okay, cool. And young blood bottoms. Cool. Is there anything around here? Okay, so there's one enemy down there in pieces, chilling, waiting for me to come down. He's going to put himself together. What do you think else down there? Okay, so some big tonk thing down the bottom there. There's a few items, you know what, I'll go run to that later. Let me just roll up. Mm, mm, ah. I'm heavy breathing, boy, a man's climbing the ladder. Ah, so there's a shrine. Okay, cool, you know what? Let's get to the shrine and save this up. Right, now, because of the area I'm going to be fighting in, I'm definitely using my guardian spirit. The shrine's just there, so there is no way I'm going to let my man kill me when the shrine's just there. And I'm not going to fight him without the guardian spirit in that small little area. Right. Can he climb up? Or should I jump down? No, let's see if he'll climb up. Okay. I thought he might have been able to get back up. I guess not. Um, nah, you know what? I'm just going to go to my shrine. Right, so I got my save back. Um, my man was regenerated back on the bridge and I got no guardian for it to fight now. So, I have to do what I said I didn't want to do just a second ago, which is fighting without the guardian spirit in this tight little area. I mean, it's not impossible, it just would have been easier using the guardian spirit. And I sold it because I should have followed him down on the ledge. Didn't realise now I would have got respawned back up here, so, as well as having full health. But so far, so good. Oh, spoke too soon. In bag of health. Yeah, so far. Oh. Yeah, so that was all good, actually. I mean, you can look at it two ways. You can look at that. I wasted my Guardian Spirit, but I know I'm going to build that, that back up because, as you can see, so there's some enemies down at the bottom, so I'm not really too fussed about that. But I guess I can fight man in tight corners like that, even though it is harder. So, me personally, I'm always going to take the easier route. Because the game's hard enough. So let's have him jump down and shank man. What? Nope. Man just jumped down and landed a straight next to him. Right, so I can see there's a dude there in the far distance. There's a dude there as well. Take him up quick, I don't know if there's anyone around me. I did see someone in the forest. Ah, there he is. And it looks like there's one there in the corner on the right and another one there on the left. Okay, cool. So, let's just keep this guy isolated. I don't want to be fighting two of those dudes at once. Dead, that, that isn't long. But yeah, same strategy as last time. Just get around, man. Let him do his big super combos. Get your free strikes in. Roll back. And as you can see, when I'm rolling, what's happening? It's key pulsing, people. It's key pulsing. Woo! Nearly got me that time. That was too fast, cuts. Nope. That man's getting angry. Man, just swinging all wildly. Take man out. Chop off your horns. Lick off your head. Lick off your arm. Rude boy. Give me my ting, bro. No one else around. Right, so there's definitely two, maybe three on that side. And I've got that big thing around here in the corner.
and there was a body somewhere here on the floor that I saw from the top. So I don't want to get him involved in the fight when I'm trying to fight the big dude. I want to have a nice one-on-one. -on -one. There he is. Yeah, let me bring him right here. Give him a little kick. Overhand. Alright. Now I can one on one this dude. Right, let's drop an arrow in my man's eyeball. This nasty looking cyclops looking thing. That must have hurt really well. This man screaming in agony. You don't know the half of it, fam. Right, take your life, cuz. Like you're chasing me down. Some big nasty looking ogre cyclops looking sat him with its tongue hanging out of his mouth. Low it. Nope. So as you can see, these dudes are pretty similar to the other ones. They're massive, they're powerful, but they're extremely slow. And their attack pattern is telegraph. So you can see it coming a mile away. So if you do get hit, or when I do get hit, it's probably like a lapse in concentration. But just don't rush, take your time, and eat away their life. Oh, did he hit me or did he what? That was mad. Looked like I got stunned or something. Right, let's go collect these items from this dead body. What's he giving me? A momentum talis talisman. Momentum talis talisman. And some juice. And some armor. Right, so what? Got tree down this one, let me take this one out. Let me draw this one out towards me. Lick him in his face with that arrow as well. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to thrust my blade into his back. We're all trying to stalk me. Listen, we're going to get bodied with way. Back! Get me no long thing. Roll back. Do your little swingy thing. I'm miles away from you. Get me. Same thing again, bro. The last finish, bro. Nope. Sounded like a lion when he just rolled. That sounded hard still. Head and arm gone. Let's use a special bullet sort of thing. I think it's like a fire bullet. Lick him in his head. Rather and yammed half of his life. Alright, let's just back it up here. So far, will follow me. Okay, so the one that I shot, he stayed where he is, but now the big cyclops thing came up. So let's get his attention. Well, bomb at him. Let's sort the fire damage does to him, actually. So that's two bombs man's thrown at him. That's eating away his life nicely still. Okay, so the Cyclopses, they're vulnerable to fire damage. All right. I wonder if the other yokais are vulnerable to fire damage as well. I sat up my experiment experiment throughout the game. I'll chop off your head as well. I can hear them bats, but I have no idea where those bats are. My Saturn's just seen me. Nothing down there, I don't think. Nope. Let's run back round through the top desk. I hear a little explosion. I don't know where that's coming from. Ah, it's that thing still. Uh, I see, just a glimpse man behind the box. Joker. Thought I was gonna open the box and get jump out and try a body man, yeah, you cheap. Proper lurking, like some stalker. 
but we'll fling it there, you know what? No, let's fling a grenade back at you. Hold that body both of you at the same time, no long thing. Right, so I've pretty much cleared out the whole of this stage. I've got one yokai realm that's protecting like an area. I think that's gonna take me to where the boss is. So, let's body this thing. Ah, right, let's see what's in there first. Ah, okay, so that's where the bats are all this time, making up all that noise. Okay, so it's the Cyclops thing again. Alright, uh, let's just fling the bomb at him, same way. Fling another one. Okay, so you can see where you can see like the little icon underneath his life. That basically shows where the elements like stuck to him or what, well, yeah, stuck to him, how much damage it caused him. So when that little bar builds up, that's how you know that the element has taken control and is doing some damage. So whether it's fire, electric, oh, hold on, wait, what's that? You know what, should I go and get those two items? Looks like they're setting up their movements. Ah, oh, so that's, that's the demon from earlier that got respawned. And that looks like an item on the ledge there, but you know what? That's long, man. I can't bother to run back up there. But yeah, as I was saying, yeah, so when you're causing elemental damage, the little bar will build up underneath their life. And then you can see when it's taking effect. So when it's full, obviously, that's when it's taking effect. And you should see, like, the colour of whatever element you're using. So if it's fire, it'll be red. If it's electricity, you'll see electricity around them. Um, if it's water damage you've put on them, they'll come up in blue, wind, earth, and paralysis. They all have their different colours. So wind is green. Obviously, water will be blue. And I think paralysis is purple. But as I go through the game, we'll experiment. Pick up my last items, no more bats in here. So yeah guys, you're done now. RL Scorsese, I'm a gamer. That is the second part to the third level complete. You man, peace.